10 birthday cake literally save your child's soul? Has Crime Scene Kitchen taught us actual crime-solving skills? And will Danny Rose unravel my delicate family structure with her relentless pursuit of the truth? Somebody get my therapist on the line because this YouTube series has slowly destroyed everything I care about! It's Benedict's Guide to Food Stuff! Hello, members of the Ben Hive. Today, we're diving back into the world of Crime Scene Kitchen, and perhaps we'll even solve a real-life kitchen mystery of our own. <laughs> and we're joined in all this by charismatic foodie and cookbook author, Danny Rose. Hey, y'all. I am so excited to be here. Me too. You know, I have been asking Gloria to book a food-related guest on the show for ages. I mean, my other guests were competent, but it is nice to have a real expert. Well, thank you, honey. Listen, I am a fan of yours, too. But you know what I'm excited about? I cannot wait to talk about Crime Scene Kitchen because I freaking love mysteries. I like murder shows, okay. medical mystery shows. Check. But what I'm really good at is catching my girlfriend's men cheating on them. They always call me because they know I find out. I think you're going to love our first segment of the show. Okay! As our returning viewers know, I filmed this show in my mother's kitchen in Tarzana. Hold on now, Benedict. You live with your mama. And her boyfriend, Howie Mandel. Well, honey, that's okay. You know, sometimes when you're in your early 20s, you got to stay at home until you can get on your feet. Yeah, I'm, I'm 34. Now, hold on, wait a minute. That's a little different. The point is, I often come in here in the morning to set up with Donald and discover that Howie has left an absolute mess in the kitchen. But when I saw today's detritus, I had a flash of inspiration. We're going to play our very own game of Crime Scene Kitchen. And you, Danny, will have 30 seconds to guess what Howie made in the kitchen this morning. Are you ready? Hell yeah, I'm ready. Let's do this. Donald, put 30 seconds on the clock starting now. OK, I am seeing a chocolate sauce. So maybe Howie made uh, crepes with like a chocolate ganache. <laughs> Probably a little too advanced for Howie. OK, well, there's also flour and there's also chocolate chips. So maybe he made like a mint brownie with the cream cheese icing. Again, Howie has zero talent for baking and I cannot stress this enough. Okay, so then it probably isn't cardamom atrame. Five more seconds. Oh, uh, uh, I'm gonna go with a chocolate cake. Oh, incredible work, Danny. But that is incorrect. Oh. The correct answer, chocolate birthday cake. Now, how do you know it's a birthday cake? Oh, well, tomorrow's my mother's birthday. And you just didn't care to share that context with me? Now, you know, in that show Accused, they would consider that attorney misconduct. Sure, but now we've got a great transition into today's history segment. Mm -hmm. Birthday cake. We all eat it as we celebrate our ceaseless march to the grave. Damn, that's dark. And true. But where did this delicious tradition originally start? Eating sweets on one's birthday is a staple of many cultures around the world, but it's believed the Western idea of birthday cake may have originated in ancient Rome, where flat circular cakes made from flour and nuts were leavened with yeast and sweetened with honey. <laughs> honey in the South, you know we sweeten everything with high fructose corn syrup. Which I heartily support. In the 15th century, bakeries in Germany began to sell cakes for birthdays in addition to weddings. Germany went even further in crafting our modern tradition when they added the birthday candle. Oh, yeah. So where are the candles? Uh, I'm sorry to interrupt your flow, Benedict, but do you think that Howie has, like, the two big numbers, or does he have, like, the little small ones? Well, a bunch of tiny candles is the ghost choice, so I can only assume Howie did that. The first candles were utilized in the German tradition of... Kinterfest, a communal birthday party in which all the town's children were brought together to celebrate in the town hall, where the adults could watch over them and protect the children's souls from evil spirits. Hey, B? Yeah, D? Well, what's your mama's name? Margaret. Why? Well, I found these frosting letters here, but I don't think the missing ones were used to spell out happy birthday. Well, Danny, the man is barely literate. He consistently uses the word reticent when clearly he means reluctant. Who is this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Birthday cakes grew more popular in Europe and America as industrialization made ingredients widely available and baking technology advanced. 
Improvements in leavening agents such as baking powder and baking soda also boosted cake's democratic appeal. And champagne! Okay, what now? Look, Benedict, it's an unopened bottle of... Faux raisins. Yeah, it's my mom's favorite. Oh, something is afoot. Okay, Danny, you know this isn't a literal crime scene, right? Oh, wait, I'm gonna solve this crime. Okay. Well, I guess while you're doing that, <clears throat> the tradition of birthday cake continues to this day with people all over the world. Will you marry me? Uh, I beg your pardon? That's what the letters he used to spell out. It's not just a birthday cake. <gasps> It's a proposal cake. Baby, that's juicy. Also, can we just point out how good I am at solving crime? Listen, I told you, Guido, we need to rebrand me and get me out of the kitchen. Put me on a cold case or something. Oh, honey, Benedict, are you okay? Towie Mandel! Get out of here now! Benedict, nothing is going to change. Your mother and I, we love you. Well, I don't love you. I am just hopeful that this will change with time. And I'm happy to have you keep living here. Howie, you know he's 34, right? Uh, all I'm asking is that you don't tell your mother what I'm planning. Fine. I won't spoil your little surprise. Thank you. All I ask is that I get to see the cake first, just so I can guarantee you made it the way she likes it. Okay, it's in the freezer. The oh! freezer! Oh! Keep filming, this is evidence. Benedict, just put the knife down. Not until you say you're not my dad. I'm definitely not your dad. I am definitely not your dad, and I am never going to try to replace him. And now? Say you won't propose to my mom. I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. Now, Benedict, that really don't seem fair. Okay, fine. Then you just say that this cake is probably bad and that I'm a better chef than you. I'll happily say that because that's the truth. You're not a great chef, Benedict, but you are definitely better than me. Okay, okay. Thank you, Howie. You're welcome. Yuck! That's our show. Be sure to watch Crime Scene Kitchen on Fox, as well as our guest, Danny Rose's excellent cooking videos on YouTube. Although I gotta warn your audience, honey, it is nowhere near as insane as whatever this was. Well, few things are. Thank you, as always, to Fox for keeping my therapist in business, and begrudgingly to Howie Mandel for not being too mad I dropped his cake, though he did say I have to replace it. Uh-huh, and I think that's fair. Well, I think he's just angling for a better cake. I mean. Look at his, you can tell from here it's undercooked and over-frosted. Now you want to mop that up, by the way. Nah, I'll just have Donald do it. Benedict? Look, I'm, mops in here are like five times my size. See you soon, Benheads! <laughs>